Hey everyone, Ben here from Local Land Services. I'm down here at the demonstration farm checking the fertiliser trial. We applied fertiliser back on the 9th of November and today is the 1st of December, 22 days after application. Since for application, we have irrigated and had a number of storms across the, the paddock. The, sum, the temperatures have been from low 20s to low 30s daytime and varying throughout the nights. The humidity has been high, therefore moisture has not been the limiting factor on the soil. A number of people asked, did we take a soil test prior to application? We rushed and we did not. However, across the paddock, we have seen that there is a low pH of 4.8 calcium chloride, so acidity may be a part. Phosphorus and potassium were slightly limiting, However, we do not know actually what's underneath these pastures. Walking across the paddocks, we are starting to see differentiation between the different trial strips. This patch is the NPK blend. As you can see using a boot as an indicator, the quite significant amount of growth that we've had in the last three weeks. The grass is dark green compared to the control. It is quite larger. A number of seed heads are starting to come up from the old rye grass that we over sown. However, we would like to leave a, another week or two at least for an adequate withholding period before reintroducing stock. Here we are in the pelleted chicken manure strip spread at 600 kilos per hectare. As you can see by the boot, there has not been a major amount of growth. However, it is slightly more than the controls but significantly lower than the two synthetic strips. Going forward, maybe higher rates may be needed or repeated applications to build the nutrient load in the soil. Let's see how this strip progresses throughout the trial. Here we are in the urea strip, spread at 200 kilos per hectare. I would not recommend this rate as it was too high for the environment for the plants which uptake causing stock issues or even your back pocket. However, look at the amount of biomass production we have created, especially since we've had this warmer temperature, increasing the microbial activity, allowing them to break down the urea and feed it to the plants. Also, the moisture content, which has allowed the plant to uptake it. Here we are in the nil fertilizer strip. As you can see, since the last time we visited, there has been more green growth since the latest storms. However, a lot less biomass production compared to our fertilizer strips. This control area allows us to make an assessment whether spending the money on fertilizer is economically feasible. Now that's for you to decide. Talk soon.